The month of May is a beautiful month uh, throughout the country, but it's especially appreciated by yours truly in Zone 6. Here we're looking at dogwood, just coming into bloom uh, May 1st. These dogwood are one of my annual visits. They're part of a uh, historical cemetery in East Greenwich, Rhode Island, on Division Road, as a matter of fact. And I have to stop every year, as well as some other places that you'll see, uh, to see mostly the uh, flowering uh, trees. You see a little uh, maple in the background in bloom. Uh, but the uh, pink dogwood, these are good size older trees, uh, bloom quite uh, beautifully every year. Now, flowering pear is one of those trees, like many other flowering fruit trees, that are pollution resistant. So we see them in use as street trees. In this case, they're at a mall. And this mall is in North Kingston, Rhode Island. And uh, we see more and more commercial enterprises adding some uh, beautiful flowering material. Later, I visit the garden at University of Rhode Island, and they have one of the magnolia hybrids that we're looking at here in the garden near the greenhouses. This is another place that I have to visit uh, in the month of May, usually, um, in my home state of Rhode Island. And they have uh, many other plants in this garden, of course, but. Uh, Magnolias is uh, about to be past bloom, so I, I felt an urgency uh, to take uh, a video of this uh, particular hybrid uh, magnolia. There are other flowering uh, fruit trees as well, and flowering uh, fruit bushes. Um, like the quince, which are not featured here, but one of uh, um, the earlier, I was surprised to see the still in bloom, is the uh, pink almond. And this is at a supermarket. Uh, beautiful plantings, which also have in the plantings of uh, Viburnum colossi, which is another favorite of mine uh, at this time of the year. And we've had a colder uh, spring than than normal and ordinarily I'd see these earlier in April but I was so happy to catch the almond the flowering almond in this case um, still in bloom as long as we don't get a good strong rain I think they will continue to be in bloom for uh, quite some time very beautiful plant it's not a tree although it can be uh, pruned to be a tree we often see these just basically as a flowering shrub. And along the highways, we uh, have another favorite spot. On the way back from the University of Rhode Island, I took a shot of the PJM in bloom. This was uh, a recent centerfold of the mud for us, and the facetia in bloom at the same time. On Route 4 um, in Rhode Island, and we see a lot of this along Route 95, and we're back at the office here, and that's the flowering plum. In this case, it's uh, Prunus Newport, which has a more purple leaf, as we're looking at, uh, than the cistern. The cistern is also a uh, shrub, but the Newport uh, most often is a tree. And here's some flowering crab around Route 95, uh, just outside our office again. And that uh, is one of the earlier trees and of course it's one of them that is uh, pollution resistant and that's why we see them along the highways. Very beautiful uh, contrast to the ivy underneath and the juniper spread underneath. This is right on uh, Route 95.